Okay, so for anyone who's been in a club or a concert or a disco or something and seen those big speakers with these big um, horn tweeters and wondered how they actually work, in this video I'm going to take this apart so we'll get to see what's actually inside one of these things. First of all, um, let's hear how it sounds. I've got it connected to my trusty Akai reel-to-reel -reel with my homemade amplifier powering it. And this is pretty much how it sounds. Of course, can't get the stupid tape recorder to play. Now, if I do this at the back, I'll explain why it does this later on. So you can hear it's pretty loud, and now we're going to take a look inside. In case you're wondering what the music was, that was the Red Dwarf theme song. Anyway, um, let's take this thing apart. The horn can come off, it just unscrews. Okay, it doesn't unscrew because it's a very loose fit. So this is the horn bit, I hope I'm showing up to the camera. I haven't got my external microphone at the moment, so I'm going to use the camera's microphone, and because the microphone is on the other side of the viewfinder, it's a bit difficult, but anyway, that's the horn bit, and this is the driver. Let's hear how it sounds without the horn. Now, um, I think that actually sounds better without the horn, but anyway, um, time to see what's inside. Turn it around. You can see I've removed the back, and this is what we have inside. There's a little piezo metal disc thing. That's got the crystal on both sides. Now it's um, pretty much taken apart. This is the, here we have the metal I mean the paper diaphragm, which the piezo metal disc connects to. And this, when I first opened this up, I thought this was a voice coil, but it's actually not. It's a transformer, and that increases the voltage about five times, so it can power the little metal disc thing. Is it still in the camera shot? Yes, good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper diaphragm bit off, because I don't actually use this thing, so it won't really matter. So we can see what's under this. Okay, so I've now cut the cone. Let's lift it up and see what's under there. And this is what we have under the cone. I'm going to make a new cone for this, so it doesn't matter about the old one. Let's just clean that up a little bit. You can see a vent in the same shape as the cone. And let's take a look at it from another angle. I don't know if you can see it. You can actually see through it now. Now, I would like to try to take this middle bit off, but it doesn't seem to be come up. Um, it doesn't seem to be able to come off. It's just one big moulded piece. Well, I guess that's it for this edition of What's Inside. Yep, I think I'll make a series called What's Inside, where I take things apart that I don't need and show you what's inside. And that's what's inside one of those um, big horn tweeter things. Anyway, anyway, that's it. So until next time, goodbye. Okay, here's a little bit of additional stuff. Um, now putting the um, replacement cone on. It's just a piece of paper. Now... I was going through the footage and noticed that I didn't explain what I was doing when I was doing this. What I was doing, I was just simply holding this that little metal disc onto the cone so it would make, you know, it would sound louder. And, well, that's basically what I was doing. Because, obviously, when I took this thing apart, this um, 
became, you know, unglued from the cone and, you know, didn't connect so well. So anyway, again, that's the end of this um, episode of um, What's Inside. So until next time, goodbye. For real this time.